Well, last week we showed you how to line up the door gaps. After that, we have to bolt on the fenders, bolt on the hood, bolt on the bumpers. Even though the bumper hasn't been stripped yet, everything gets bolted and all the body work gets done as one unit. That way, when you look down the side of it, it's nice and straight. Well, there's a bunch of steps you have to take first. First off, you have to do your rough body work. And then what we use is a sprayable polyester filler. And this is basically the equivalent of body filler, except it sprays on. This gives you the ability to build up the, the body, any waves in it, and then you use a bunch of different sandpapers and a bunch of different blocks to block it nice and straight. We start off with an aluminum block that doesn't have any give. We start off with a 120 grit sandpaper on that aluminum block. That kind of roughs out the shape of the car. This gives you the nice straight look down the side. From there, you get into some of your corners and, and your areas, and this block here, it's kind of interesting, has different rods in it. And what these rods allow you to do is make it stiffer or more flexible depending on the shape of the fender. Lastly, we go to a standard board file, which a lot of body shops will use. And this is a flexible board file with aluminum plate on the back, a little rubber, it has a little bit of give. So we're gonna start out with the 120 grit paper. We're gonna go to the 180 grit paper. We're gonna continue off with the 220 grit paper with the different board files. Now the way you find out if it's straight or not is you use here a guide coat. You can use a spray bomb or you can use this stuff here. You put it all over the car and it'll allow you to sew the high and low spots, the sand scratches, and any other imperfections. Now the difference between a good restoration and a great restoration is all the fine details. Places that people generally don't look when they walk up to the car. It's in all the nooks and crannies, the bottom of the rockers, in the wheel wells. And that's where these things come in. They're really handy and they conform to the shape of that area and you can see that you've got in every nook and cranny. Now you see we still got a little low spot here. If this is painted with metallic, that's going to show up again. Now a lot of guys, they really don't care in the wheel well. But here if we're going to do it, you may as well do it right. Guide coat all the areas, sand all the areas. This conforms nicely. You got a nice smooth finish here. You still got a couple of low spots there. You keep working it. And when all the guide coat's gone, it's perfect now. Now you can see here we've broken through to the epoxy primer and to the bare metal. Now that's why the last coat that goes on a car is epoxy primer again. It will seal everything that gets wet sanded. Now, like I said before, you want to do all the body work together. You want to finish it off as fine as 320 if you're going to have a black car or dark color car. The next stage is to put the entire car into epoxy, but next week what we're going to show you is this rubber front bumper, enduro bumper. These are a trick all unto their own. They're really tricky to get right. They're really tricky to make sure that none of the cracks come back to haunt you. It's super flexible, so I'll show you what it takes to make one of these right.